Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So we're going to jump straight into this tutorial. I'm going to show you how I got this look that I wore in my previous video, but with a different lip. I primed my eyelids first and I'm going to use this Beauty Bay Fury or Fiery, I think it's Fiery palette. It's actually really nice. I'm not too fond of the shimmery shades, but the matte ones are so, so nice. And I'm using a kind of like burnt brick color in my crease and I bought it all the way in. And yeah, I'm just blending that away and then I'm going to use a deeper kind of like burgundy shade and I'm going to buff this into the outer corner and also just underneath that first shade that we used. Next we're going to use a matte base kind of shade. This was so pigmented, I was so shocked by it and it was like kind of satisfying to like pack this on. But yeah, I really took my time with this and you can go back and forth with your other brushes to make sure that everything is blended together and there's, that there's no harsh lines. But like I said, I, I'm not too fond of the shimmer shades in this palette, but it's only £12, so, you know, not bad for the palette. So here I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended. I actually really like this makeup look, I should wear it more often. But anyways, I'm going to pop some The Balm Shwing Eyeliner. This is one of my favourite eyeliners because it's so black and intense. It just It's just such a nice eyeliner. And actually, the applicator is really easy to use as well. I'm just popping some mascara on, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational and for um, lashes I'm going to use the most wanted ones in You Want It by Isla. Honestly one of my favourite like lash range out there, they're so nice, like, all of them in the range, the most wanted range are so so nice and affordable. Then I'm going to take some of the NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer, this stuff is so fun to use and so like refreshing and it just feels so nice and it's kind of like a dupe for the Bobbi Brown treatment lotion which is like £50 and this is so much cheaper. It just feels so nice on the skin. Then for foundation I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in golden. And I'm just going to buff this all out with my damp beauty blender. The black one is the best honestly. If you want a beauty blender get the black one. It's honestly my most favourite one. I've tried like three different ones and this one definitely stood out for me. Then for concealer, I'm using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Caramel Corn and really popping this on under my eyes and I love how like this stuff just makes your under eyes look so, f so flawless but it does oxidise a little bit so bear that in mind. So I'm just going to blend that all out. Just look how easy it is to blend and how it just brightens and conceals. I'm going to set that with my Makeup Forever Banana Powder. I'll link everything in the info box as always, but this powder has been one of my favourites lately. I don't know why I never used it before, but I remember seeing it on someone's Insta story and they were like, this stuff smooths your under eyes so nice and it really, really does. Um, I'm using the MAC Mineralize, Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep to Bronze. I forgot to show it, but I just use this stuff every day. I guess it's like routine for me to just like pack it on. Next, I'm going to put some eyeshadow under my eyes, no, on my lower lash line it is a bright orangey kind of shade, like orange peachy shade. And then I also pop some mascara. I always make the weirdest faces when I put mascara. And then for the lips, I'm going to use the new Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Ladies Night. This lipstick is so nice and I have been wearing it all day long and this stuff stays on pretty well like I only need to retouch once if I'm eating it stays on pretty well I guess what it depends on what types of food you're gonna eat but I know a lot of you guys had questions about that but it does last very nicely on the skin and didn't really dry my lips out which was really really nice to have as well but yeah you do have to reapply it maybe once in like the day but I did wear it to work and it, it was really nice. I think I wore Graduation Day. It's like one of my favourite shades. 
anyways i think that's the finished look oh no wait wait we've got the sleek highlighter elixir i'll write the shade in the info box and it says tester because it was sent to me by um a pr brand so i'm annoyed that i didn't take that off but that's okay but anyways look how like this stuff makes your skin look like glass like it looks normal from front but then once you turn your head you just see this glow like it's so beautiful but anyways this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and i'll see you next time bye